Hey everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs. I just wanted to do a quick spider spotlight on uh, mouse spiders. Uh, scientific name is Miscellina bradleyi. Uh, the mouse spiders are a modern spider and their fangs move in and out sideways rather than straight up and down, like most other spiders. Um, the common name for the mouse spider is taken from the false belief that the um, that they excavate a large deep mouse-like burrow which isn't actually true. Uh, females are black overall right here this is a female and the females are also larger than the males. Uh, the males are also black with a bluish white patch on the front of their abdomen which you'll see in the video shortly after this. I'll do another segment and whereas and the females are just pure black all over. Uh, mouse spiders are found in the east coastal and highland regions of Australia and just like the trapdoors they uh, live in burrows in the ground usually near banks of rivers, creeks and other sort of waterways uh, but they can also be found in suburban gardens and quite regularly. Uh, the, the burrows are usually built with double or single trapdoors and the entrance is sort of like an oval shape. The females tend to sort of remain in their burrows, they don't really wander very far, whereas the males um, will be found wandering during early winter, especially after rain, looking for the females, and the females will just stay in their burrows. Uh, the diet of these guys is insects, um, they, you know, small vertebrates and other spiders possibly, but in captivity I feed these guys crickets and occasionally mealworms and wood roaches. Um, with reproducing, males reach sexually uh, mature age at about four and that's when they leave their burrows and go looking for a mate. Uh, females uh, <coughs> are mature a bit before then and the mating almost always takes place in the female's burrow after the males come down looking for her. Uh, so I'll do another quick segment after this of the male mouse spider as well but this here is a female they are quite an aggressive species. I'll just put this back just so you can see just so you can see her size alright and like, she's already agitated as it is I don't even need to <laughs> go poking her. She's That's a typical um, threatening stance okay so this is what I house these guys in captivity. It's a small acrylic container. What I'm doing is replicating the burrow. They don't actually do well in large containers. I've tried and I have failed. So this has been the best success rate that I have had. Large <coughs> containers, they lose the humidity, they don't retain as much moisture, they don't wander too much. So this one's a sealed container, uh, just a small one from Woolworths is where I get these from. And I've got no air holes in there. I've got cocoa peat and sand mixed with sphagnum moss. So I'll show you now if I can do it effectively. I'm just going to transfer the female into her home. So I make sure there's a space for her to go into. I encourage her, like you can see she's attacking me there, she's got hold of the forceps. So she's in. So I'll pop the lid on and straight away she's getting comfortable in the cocoa peat. So she'll dig and tunnel into that. I use a lot of sphagnum moss because I find that these guys like a lot of moisture but I mean it would be ideal if you had something a bit longer as well for them to um, burrow in but like I said I find that they they really just do the best in small types of enclosures just replicating the burrow. Alright guys thanks for watching and straight after this I'm going to link the mail video in Hi everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs. Just wanted to highlight this beautiful mouse spider. Uh, he's, this is a male. 
mouse spiders are quite aggressive. And of course this guy's already in I'm angry pose. But just to roll him up a little bit more for you. Sorry, that's it. Don't annoy him too much. Just want you to be able to get a good look at those fangs. They certainly have an impressive set of fangs on them. And you can see the way that he pops them out, threatening me. And uh, these guys are quite small. Okay, so there's a ruler. Just pop this under. Alright, so you can get an idea of just how small he is, but they're quite aggressive and their venom is really potent and extremely dangerous, so you must be very careful when dealing with mouse spiders. Isn't he beautiful? Just wanted to share how gorgeous they can be, but you know, they need respect. They don't need people to come along prodding at them like I just did. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.